Deal with material is one of the most important parts for data preparation for manufacturing. As you remember, first we use descriptive name for our components. So now we need to rename them according to some coding scheme. First we need to close our assembly file. Now we need to launch assembly copy utility, which allows you to rename or copy the files from your assembly. Open file, initial assembly that we have, we have been made. Let's copy existing names to the description and enable rename mode. So for the names, we will use the tree counter, which allows you to hierarchically code your items. So we are copying new file name to the part number. In this case, it's done. We can just execute a renaming process. Once it's done, we can close assembly copper, go for open. And as you can see, the file names was changed. All descriptive names still are shown in the description. But we don't see them with naked eye, so we need to go to the visibility control, notes, and we need to choose what kind of the information we will have on our browser. So in this case, it would be a coded name and as well as the descriptive names. Let's start the bill of material calculator. Takes some time because the system analyzes the size of the parts according to the grain direction, other sizes, edge bending thickness, and so on. So, because we used, uh, re we used generalized materials before, we need to have a new replace configuration to replace those generalized materials with the real ones. So, we're using replace configuration name. And we need to click on the Excel button to map our generalized names with the Excel document as a source of the data. So by default, it's located in a woodwork directory, samples, replacement data, materials. So we're choosing this Excel document. Now we need to map the, fold, the columns, which contains the picture name, the code, as well as the name of the appearance. Okay. Once it's done, the system reads the data from this Excel document, as you can see. Now you can pick the real materials from the list which is as simple as just find the material that you want to use and double click on it. Okay, once it's done, we can do the same operation, but in this case for the hardware. Because our hardware library contains generalized items, as for instance the handle, but if the center distance is the same, you can put virtually any handle with the same drilling scheme. So we are going to the replacement folder. In this case, we are choosing the hardware for the replacement. The idea is the same. We are mapping the columns, the picture, the code, and the name from an Excel. Once it's done, now we can choose the real hardware code and the name instead of generalized. As you can see, we can use a search option to find the item by simply typing the code or the description. So, if you leave your components without replacement, you will see original code and the name of the component. But if you made a replacement, you will see those replacement names in the bill of material in the future steps. So, now we can fill up the header data by entering sales code and the name and so on. And also, we can choose the template, which is like the filter, which allows you to show the same data in different formats. So different templates allows you to see the same data uh, organized in different ways. So when we have chosen the template, we get the Excel as an output. Okay, this is the name configuration table, material summary, which shows you all the lists of the items and the totals. Cutted part list, which is very useful in case if you do a cutting on a contact center, you see all the sizes of the boards. Complete part list shows you all the boards, as well as the hardware. And the product structure shows you just a product uh, structure from the browser. It would simply repeat the same as you see in the browser. Now. 